we jump it higher. We crash it harder. And then we break You know, definition of bashing. When you bash, you gotta fix some parts, man. You wanna like upgrade. You wanna change some stuff up. You wanna make sure that when you're sending it, it doesn't break and the fun continues. So I've been on a mission to basically bash proof this whole thing. Um, I've been using other brands to upgrade and I've also been making some of my own parts. And that's why I'm here to share this stuff with you today because guess what? This is a little crazy right now. This might not be forever, but for right now, if you wanna buy a wing mount, it's back order. If you wanna buy your steering blocks, it's back order. If you wanna buy a truck right now, even just for spare parts, it is back ordered. And we wanna check Arma, guess what? It's back ordered. So what do you do when it's out of stock, unavailable and back ordered, huh? You f call the company and be like, yo, what's happening? So I called Arma and I was like, I'm trying to buy some shit. what's going on? And they're like, nah, you know, we'll get back to you. And you're like, what? It's like back ordered till the middle of the summer. Well, that's when you start making shit. So, I like making stuff. I like building things. I like upgrading. So that's been my mission for the last few months of just solidly taking this thing apart and designing parts, going, taking it out, bash testing them, and then having them available for you guys to get so that you can do the same. So check this out. So we got upgrades for the Creighton all Kudra edition. Definitely going with all the anodized red parts, loving it. Everything from your wing mount, all right? Beefier, stronger, better. Bash guards protect your body. The rear skid plate and chassis skid rails, gotta protect the chassis. The front bumper spring, definitely something that breaks all the time, so we beef that up, all right? And then, you're looking to upgrade. Gotta put the Max 6 Hobby Wing G2 system in your Creighton. And that's what we did. Look at this bad boy. And that's just it. I'm getting it ready for the weekend. I wanna bash this thing like crazy. So we're gonna put some fresh parts on right now. Cause, why not? Let's see what we got. All right. Fresh print. Yeah, let's check them out. Of course, you can put stickers on here. Kudra. Pop this in. We need so right in here you've got I think I just have it loose yeah you got the spring mount it's just completely broken so I went and made another one okay that has more support and it's gotta have my anodization in there, so that's what it looks like. Got all the upgrades on it, and best believe it works real nice. However, it is still a basher. So the chassis just takes an absolute beating. You know, if you're driving into the skate park or you, you know, hit a rock, like this is where it's gonna land. And so that's where these come in. It's kind of like a ninja blade, so anything that comes up just goes right over. And I would rather replace this than mess with this because eventually this will wear down and the bolts won't fit right. And you know, this is only like two months worth of wear. And I was like, I can't have that. I'd rather replace these a few times than have to replace a chassis. Not only is a chassis more expensive, but it's also a pain in the butt to rebuild everything. So. So 
So I made some rails that go there. So the bash guards are really good, you know, if you land upside down, um, gives a bit of extra support to the roof here. And the way I've made these is so that the name Kudra is facing out. And all you really need is a body reamer or a drill bit. And you just kind of line it up where you want it. There's sort of a middle ground here. You can kind of see where it fits. And then you just pop your hole and then you ream it out. Already reamed out. Line it up here, pop the screws in. There's two, flip it over. And then just hand tighten it. Kudra bash guards looking fire. It's the Hobby Wing Max 6 Easy Run. ESC and it requires a build plate, which I've had on here for a little while now. And in order to get this ESC to fit properly, as you can see, we need a riser plate. And that riser plate with the correct bolt holes need to fit in an exact position because the tolerances are super tight. So it's made out of carbon fiber X, 100% density, Still really lightweight, but has the aluminum risers, which give it that Kudra look. It's got some vents down here, so it keeps the ESC cooler from the bottom, as well as if there's any water that gets underneath, it can drain. Of course, you already know I make all the parts because I want them on my truck, so I'm happy if you have them on your truck, but if you buy it, you're also supporting the evolution of the parts because there's the channel, which we make fun videos on and dig around and send it and break it and fix it and upgrade it and all that fun stuff. But there's also aluminum and so, and carbon fiber and forged carbon fiber. So I wanna be making aluminum and forged carbon fiber parts because I think we can do a lot to this to make it lighter and to make it stronger. And that's, that's really where I wanna go with this. So the proof is in the pudding. If you guys like this stuff, the more that you like it, the more I can make, and the more we can just bash, basically. And I'm into it. And the more vehicles I do, because you know, who owns one truck? And if you're the guy who owns one truck, just give it a few months and, and we'll talk again. Cause uh, yeah, I started not all that long ago and I've got 10 trucks already. It's freaking wild. But each one of them needs their own specific upgrades. They're not all the same. Even, you know, generally they might be the same, but each one has its own specific weak spot. And it's like, if you can correct that, that just means you can go out and have fun for longer. And I think that's the goal. So, and it looks sick. So why the hell not? So until the next one, guys, we'll catch you later. Enjoy the parts and go have some fun in the sun because it's summertime now. All right, peace. Sunday!